We're gonna head out in a bit, so I'm just finishing getting myself sorted. Pop some perfume on for the first time in a long time. I only seem to wear perfume during the colder months, probably because my favourite scent is quite an autumnal wintry scent. It's my favourite, it's Myrrh and Tonka by Jo Malone. I'm really excited to be wearing my new coat today, so I think I'm gonna fling this jumper on. I'm not bothering to do anything with my hair today because I know we're gonna get rained on. So windy outside, I'm gonna keep my hair tucked into my jumper actually. A lot of you will know, but for anyone who isn't aware, um, just for full transparency, this coat was gifted. But our kit are a brand I genuinely love and I get to pick the items out myself. I did try on this gorgeous dark green coat a few months ago now, maybe a couple months ago now. I loved it so much, but because our kit clothes only go as small as a size eight. It was huge on me because I didn't realise it was an oversized fit and Doug said I looked like a child wearing my dad's coat. It was just so big so I had to send it back and then I came across this brown number. I love it so much. It's really soft. I can of course link it. They seem to have a good amount of stock for this coat. It's definitely an investment piece. It's about the same price point as this Whistles coat that I've had for a few years now. My colour palette is very black, especially in my staple items like my coats and jackets. So it's quite nice to wear something that isn't black. It almost has a bit of a trapeze shape to it. I just really love the shape and it's got pockets on the side. I don't know what it is about belts on coats, but I really, I really like the look of it. I'm so pleased with this coat. And I'm thinking I'm gonna wear this and other stories bag that I got this time last year, which I barely used just because I really like my smaller Kate Spade one. But for some reason, I feel like the shape of this goes really nicely with this coat. I've tied it up a bit at the back, which probably looks silly. I just want it to sit slightly higher up because I'll have this camera and my phone and probably a lip balm I could do with a bigger bag. And I'm probably just gonna stick on my Converse or my boots. It's been so long since I've worn this bag. I have, can feel that I've got things in this back pocket. I don't know if I'll be able to link anything similar. I'll try it if I can. I know talking about clothes isn't everyone's cup of tea, but that, that was that was my thing when I started YouTube. That's what I began YouTube with back in the uh, fashion rocks my socks days. I like talking about clothes sometimes. Oh my goodness, we have a few things in here. What do I have in here? Oh, I've got, a, I've got a straw. And it seems a lot of receipts and an empty wrapper from one of Delilah's biscuit snack things we've got some bus tickets food shopping receipt next receipt and some receipts from the post office guys we are having the rainiest weather at the moment we've got no major plans for the day or the vlog but i knew i definitely wanted to go out because i didn't leave the house yesterday so i need to get out get some fresh air you get your weddies on i've, d I've had to go for boots because my converse have a hole in the side i didn't realize so my feet are gonna get wet so boots it is for mummy i thought we'd go to town and just mooch around. We, we never really, well Delilah never really gets to do that. She's always intrigued by the Christmas decorations and I'm going, come on, we've got to get home. Whereas today we're not in a rush to go anywhere. So I thought I'd let her um, mosey around. Let me turn the camera around. And then I thought we could go on a lunch date. Obviously being half term, I thought we'd go out for a treat because you're not normally here, are you? You're at school now. Yeah. So it's nice to have you home. We watched a film the other day where they were using chopsticks. I was explaining to Delilah how other cultures use chopsticks and not knives and forks like we do. And she's also been really enjoying watching Juno on the Jolly YouTube channel. They're one of my favourite YouTube channels and one of the guys on that channel, Ollie, he has a daughter. She's the most adorable thing ever and I think her and I think Delilah and Juno would get on very well. And she's been really enjoying watching the videos of them in Korea and of course they were using chopsticks. Delilah was asking me all about it and I asked her if she'd like to try using chopsticks and um, I said I'd take her for a lunch date, a little half um, a half term treat at Wagamama's because I know they do the kids chopsticks. That's the plan for the afternoon when we come home and I was going to take her out for dinner but I forgot we've got a food shop coming around half five so we need to make sure we're home for that. So we'll do lunch instead. I'm gonna run and get you a cardigan, darling. Do you want to get your raincoat? I win. One arm. What do you think you're gonna have for lunch? Um, noodles. I'm gonna try eating with chopsticks too, although I'm not very good at it, but I'll try. Raincoat. Go, 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 go. <laughs> run. 
Ya apa ada izin nih? Sedih banget. Can I get those for the lady? Whoa! Yeah. Oh, two rosy things! Lovely! Are you gonna carry the bag? You need a portrait! We've uh, spotted a uh, Mark Jacobs bag. I don't think that's gonna be going on the Christmas list though, Bubba. She said she wants to show me what she wants for Christmas in the toy section. So that's where we're going. What have you seen? What's this? Oh my goodness! These are all Christmas They Oh, should we have a look around? Oh wow, that's little money pots. You put money in there and save it up. We're gonna go get some lunch now, aren't we? We're waiting outside. There's quite a long queue. We've got a very soggy lush bag. I'm just hoping they don't start fizzing. rather soggy aren't we yeah it's <laughs> so rainy yeah so rainy yeah <laughs> typically yesterday it was beautiful blue skies but it's all right we've had fun we had to queue for wagamama's as you would have seen it was about a half an hour wait but delilah had her heart set on noodles and she was all wrapped up warm and they had um a, a kind of paper thing as well so it wasn't too bad are you still playing your game yeah yeah okay i'll leave that stuff there then as you can see we've still got a bit of mess on the table i've almost finished the shelf just want to do one more lick of varnish to make it extra sealed so i was thinking we could do pumpkin carving today but um both delilah and i are feeling quite tired she had a late night at my mum's last night i was up late on the computer and then when i went to bed i couldn't switch my brain off and i don't think i fell asleep until two o'clock so we're both feeling quite wet and tired and um delilah said let's Go home, mummy. Light a fire and watch a film. I thought, even though we're doing that lots lately, why not? The reason I mentioned the mess is that I thought it would, it would also be good to have that tidied up for when we do the pumpkin carving. So I'm thinking we'll do pumpkin carving for the last vlog of this month. I'm gonna go hang this upstairs above the radiator because it's rather wet. One thing I do want to do today though is do the grouting for the tiles that's as far as my to-do list goes today and maybe do a bit of washing whilst this one is keeping herself occupied during your own little world aren't you so turn my music down i'm gonna do the grouting which i'm even though this is the easiest part of tiling i'm a bit nervous i don't know why we have this uh, adhesive and grout two in one stuff pretty sure it's the same thing we use to stick them to the wall got my little thingy to put it in to um to put it in to swipe it across and then i've got a slightly damp sponge to just wipe off the excess you're right down there pickle yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> no not as cozy as you thought it would be I have done the teeny tiniest the section of grouting. My head's not really in it. It's a bit more fiddly just because I want to make the grout perfect. So I'm just helping me make a fire. Mm. We're waiting for the food oh, I, shop to be delivered. Uh, and I, then, my egg there was having hot chocolate. Well, you had ice cream and chocolate sauce, didn't you? Mm. You did! Mm -hmm. You don't need hot chocolate. Should we have hot chocolate when we do our pumpkin carving? Another day. Okay. Thank you. 
Vamos aqui. Ready? I'm going to help you put it in. You did. You did. Well done. How sick are you guys watching us make fires? <laughs> I'm going to go get some washing on. If we've got a fire going and we've got washing that needs doing, I always like to make the most of it and do it whilst the fire's going. We have a combi dryer, so it tumble dries, but I don't like to tumble dry all our stuff. Um, I usually just use it for towels and bedding. Worst lighting there. Let's move you. Hi. That's a bit better. Just black like thing. As you can imagine, things take quite a while to dry when it's cold on a clothes horse inside. Black. Oh, thank you. And before we go to bed, we close the living room door and um, put the clothes horse in there. It stays nice and warm and then most of the clothes are dry by the morning. And when you go in in the morning, because we've kept the door closed, the heat hasn't escaped too much and it's nice and cozy in the um, living room first thing in the morning. The one thing I love about the fire, even when it goes out, it stays warm for a long time, whereas putting the heating on doesn't. Um, I find with these radiators, they heat up quickly and then as soon as they're off, you pretty much lose the heat, which is why I really love cast iron radiators. Yeah. Thank you, darling. You're doing such a good job at helping me get the wash in. Oh yes, school jumper, get all your school clothes ready for next week when you go back. You're gonna help me put the food shopping away too? Yeah. I'll leave you to keep doing that. I'm just gonna check on the fire. Nothing now. Good job. Hold your friend. Orange. Orange. Fabric conditioner. Can I put it in? Yeah. Come help me. Oh, ready? Goes in that middle bit. You know hair conditioner? What's that do to your hair? Makes it soft, doesn't it? Yeah. So what do you think this does for our clothes? Make it nice and soft. Yeah, it makes our clothes nice and soft. So we've got the conditioner and we've got, already got the stuff in that's going to wash it. Turn it on for me then, darling. Yeah. So we need to turn this on to cotton. Keep going, one more. Okay, no, back, back. Good job. Right, we need to make this 30 degrees. And we're all good to go. Can you press play for me? Just got to do it on here, my lovely. This is going to be very close. It's all mixed up. <laughs> no. In the last vlog I mentioned, I ordered myself a few puzzles, Christmas puzzles. They came yesterday. I got myself four from Anthropology. I just like, I like a good puzzle. I've been really looking forward to doing this all day. Delilah said that she wants to help me do some of it. This is a 500 piece puzzle. Um, I thought I'd go with the, the Tokis with the Christmas jumper and Christmas hats on. What we want to do is find lots of edges. That looks like that man's leg, doesn't it? Lila, I think I've got this little feather's feet. Let's see if I can that. Bless you. Find an edge that will go I over here. I found the edge! Have you a good job? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Look at that! Hey! Who else remembers food shop day being a very exciting day of the week? It always meant that you had good snacks and food in the fridge. Do you want to hand me some of the fridge stuff, darling? I'll put it in. Oh, well done. Well done, Pickle. Oh, my goodness me. Got them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 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 wow, it's so bubbly. This one's having a bath. Let her pick out a couple of bath bombs yes, uh, yes, yesterday, uh, but earlier on today in town, as you would have seen. And I'm just in here putting some washing away. Just trying to get everything a bit more in order. I feel like I've um, slacked a bit on keeping everything tidy because life, I've just been too busy the last couple of days. Other things have had to take priority. Oh, I'm alright, gorgeous. Thank you for asking. 
I just dropped something, that's all. She heard me drop this light and then I heard her call, Mummy, are you all right? So cute. Delilah is washed, fed. Is tucked up in bed now. I've been in the living room doing my puzzle. I've been listening to Billie Holiday. I've always found music um, like Billie Holiday and others of um, a similar decade. It feels kind of festive to me, but without actually listening to Christmas songs, I don't know why I'm giving Doug tomatoes. He doesn't like tomatoes. I'm having a very quick, lazy dinner tonight. We've got pizzas and I'm doing a bit of salad to go with it. I'm really enjoying this puzzle, getting along quite well. I think it's probably because there are no bits that look too similar to each other apart from the snow so it's quite easy to pinpoint where things go. Completely underestimated how big this puzzle was going to be. I think I've done too much to try and transfer it to a board now. I reckon I could probably have this done in a day or so so <laughs> it's whether I can trust Delilah not to touch it. <laughs> This is going to be B for the evening puzzle. Probably stick the TV on after dinner. And then I'm going to get an early night and I'm going to enjoy a full, <laughs> full night's sleep. So I'll see you guys in the next and last vlogtober. I hope you're all having a nice week so far. Half term, if um, you have little ones at home or if you are at home during half term because you're a student or a teacher. I hope you're all having a nice week and like I said, I will see you for the final vlogtober in a couple of days. Bye. Goodbye.